Hey everyone. I wanted to say a few words on the light energies that, that we may be feeling right now. Um, connecting into a lot of these the soul activity, a lot of what's going on in the collective and our our unique gifts, our abilities, uh, tuning into the the flow of the now and the resistance patterns that may be coming up, that may be arising. What I've been feeling in the energy of recent and I mean, it's an ongoing thing, right? So it, it was happening from before. Uh, I'm noticing it a lot more now. Is being able to feel into a lot more of the reality in different ways. For example, a butterfly may be flying around and I could actually feel its wings flapping, right? stuff like that <laughs> um, and then at times not so much right so it, it it's it's kind of like a in and out uh, thing based on based on I guess my own intentions um, but I have noticed the the expanse or the, the, the reach in it consciously in terms of uh, how far it can go right to essentially feeling feeling a lot of the collective energy around the earth and that has been <laughs> creating a very interesting uh, little dynamic in setting new boundaries and learning how to distinguish what you maybe personally your personal bubble your energetic bubble right and that of those around you in your country and collectively around the world And so my consciousness essentially brought me that reminder of, you know, taking the time to do the self-assessment, mm -hmm. balance, align, mm -hmm. come into the groundation of who you are this now moment feel into yourself tune into those those higher uh, frequencies or timelines so why why what I usually do and at times it can be a little cloudy uh, given all the again all the feelings all the emotions that would be clearing out from within us, uh, from those around us. And at times it may be a bit difficult to, to actually tune into that, to those realities, if you want to speak of it in a um, multi-dimensional way, right? And what I've noticed is is really tuning into those boundaries again, that boundary that we have, that God sovereign boundary that we can create either either visually or true intention, right? A column of light. Uh, recently, I've been working with uh, what it looks like is like a diamond uh, pearlescent color. 
Uh, that's been working for me really, really good. Actually, pretty great. <laughs> um, yeah, and essentially what I've been doing is sending that up through my uh, twelve tree grid, allowing it to move through the cells, move through all energetic patterns within the body, within the consciousness, allowing for any mind grid portals that no longer serve your consciousness in this now moment to be closed allowing any dark portals connecting to the chakra system i i would have made a video on on the the whole uh, dark portal stuff um, i think maybe like two years ago right in some aspects that still um, it still comes up for people uh, but it with the energy now a lot of the programming is is being um, transmuted uh, and depending on the, the frequency that we we are in consciously uh, it would be seen as as uh, different things, right? Based on the perception. So, but we are allowing uh, any of those frequencies within the emotional body, uh, any 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 energetic smog, any energetic husk or harnesses to be cleared from the auric field. Shifting the awareness to the crystalline plasmic light within. It has always been there and we have access to it at every moment. And as we tune into that further, we connect to the higher dimensional aspects of ourselves higher dimensional realities that exist from within ourselves and we tune into that we feel that within ourselves within our, within our DNA template and we emanate these codes into this reality here and now Allowing it to expand into our reality as it interacts with those who choose on a soul level to be the embodiment of the true, authentic, crystalline light. as it awakens within more and more and we allow that to be embodied and so it is So yeah, so it's 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 a journey. It's a journey, and uh, we 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 continuing to move move forward. Uh, at times it would seem like <laughs> like a super acceleration, and then in other moments it may seem as if. Uh, we may be going into like different valley periods. It all depends on the on the individual, right? Um, but it changes. It changes. It's, I, I've noticed it changing a lot faster now these days than it did before.
because I think we're 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 becoming more aware. We're becoming more, uh, more more conscious as we accumulate more of these frequencies coming in, right? And coming up from within us, a lot of the patterns that would have been a lot harder to spot would have kept us in the loops a lot longer, or a lot easier to see. And it is within us to. Uh, choose whether we are willing to to change or, or transmute these energies through through the different tools that we may have learned for those who are uh, who have been maybe on the journey a lot longer or for those starting out. Really tuning into your to your body, speaking to your cellular structure. It listens to you. Listen to your to your inner being. It's a very subtle feeling at first and it becomes louder the more we listen to it. It's a muscle. Yeah, it's just like a muscle. <laughs> so the more we, the more we practice it, the more we, we tune into ourselves, the more we uh, utilize the visualization process. Um, we, we we train up our, our consciousness to, you know, tap into a lot of that and exercise it. So yeah, and the more the more we actually communicate with our consciousness and ask for. Uh, guidance from our main core self with the patience patience is the key too <laughs> yeah that, that that was a big one for me but patience is is a yeah it comes forth the messages come forward So yeah, tune in and be.